Hello ladies and gentlemen, I welcome to this edition of Programming Wizards. Today we are going to uh, look at tab navigation uh, in Android, okay? And this is what I'm talking about. We are going to develop something like this one. You can see these are selectable uh, tabs. You can click news, sports, science, you see? I'm selecting them. And then, uh, you take note of this one. If I click the back button, okay? it moves it to the next when it reaches the last one it brings it to the first okay so we're going to see how we can implement this one via the code uh, dynamically okay so please uh, I'm using uh, I'm using uh, Eclipse uh, use, you can use Android Studio or anything that you like here I have my form I have my layout here and then I will jump straight to the code now the first thing that we shall do uh, in our main activity, uh, we shall implement. We shall implement uh, the action bar. Uh, the trouble is in Okay, so come and say. Implements. Action bar. The trouble listener sorry action bar the trouble listener once if we've implemented it uh, it will require us to uh, just a minute so it it shall add for us uh, some unimplemented uh, methods my intelligence seems not to work, but we shall just proceed. I think it shall work later on. Okay, so we shall just proceed. And now come to your own create method. Uh, the first thing uh, that we shall do is that we shall make uh, our home button clickable. By home button, I mean here, this one. Okay, because it, we shall be uh, using it to traverse the tabs. So I shall say make home BTN clickable. Home button clickable. So come and say, uh, first of all, I uh, shall create an action bar. Bef in fact, before this one, we need to create an action bar. So say uh, action bar. I'll call it a b is equal to get action bar then uh, I'll come and say uh, a b dot set home sorry my computer dot set home button I mean for it my computer is slow dot set home button then we shall pass uh, the true inside it okay as the boolean then uh, we shall also display the arrow the back arrow so I say I shall say a b I shall say a b uh, dot set okay a b dot set display home as up in a bold then uh, we shall also uh, pass sorry a b dot set display my computer is really hanging today okay a b dot set display home as up okay then I uh, will shall pass the true as the boolean now uh, after that one that one we shall have enabled the uh, home button and also uh, made it ma make it clickable 
okay so the next thing that we shall do is that we shall add the tabs remember this is a tab a tab navigation so come and say uh, add tabs now to add the tabs uh, the first thing that we shall do we shall say a b dot add tab okay then i'll say uh, get action bar get action bar uh, dot new tab okay this new tab uh, dot set text dot set text then uh, we shall display uh, the text property that shall be displayed in the particular tab so like the first one I'll say news okay then after that one I shall set its tab on click listener so come and say uh, dot set tab tab listener okay and uh, then we shall pass uh, the context which is this okay this context inside uh, the brackets now at uh, that one i will have added one tab but we want several tabs so what i shall do I shall just copy uh, this one and add it again. Just copy it up to there. And now paste it. Yeah, so I shall just copy them and change their text property like the first one news, the second one sports, the third one science, the fourth one politics. And then we shall now set uh, the navigation mode uh, to enable our tabs display if you don't set this one they won't display so i shall say ab dot set navigation let's set navigation mode okay then we shall say action bar dot navigation mod tabs read uh, yeah so uh, that one uh, that one will enable our tabs to display okay or else if you don't set that one it won't display now after this one actually if i run the app right now which i want because my computer is giving me problem if we run it right now uh, we shall be able to navigate the tabs but we won't be able to use the back button let me just implement the zoom so uh, just over it over there and then choose uh, add an uh, an implemented uh, methods and you can see the methods here public void on tab selected on tab reselected this one shall be called when a tab is reselected uh, this event shall be raised uh, when tab is selected and this one uh, when tab is unselected so uh, just hover it over there and add choose add and implemented methods now what we now want to do is that we want to add uh, we want to make sure that the uh, back button can help us navigate the tabs okay so that when somebody clicks the back button he can move from one tab to the another that's what we we're going to look at right now so i've just added this uh, method over here public boolean on options item selected then we pass the menu item uh, instance inside it now what we shall do is that we shall use an if else statement uh, first of all to check if the home is selected okay so say if item dot get item id dot get item id okay yeah 
dot get item id is equal to android dot r okay dot id dot home then it's an if else statement of course now uh now inside uh, inside the if else statement the first thing that we want to do is to select the current tab so say int we get its position say int car is equal to get action bar it dot get action bar okay dot get selected tab dot get selected tab okay dot get position so that one will return for us the position of, of the selected tab now once we've gotten the uh, selection of the current tab say if if we increment uh, the car if we add one to it if it is greater than or equal to a uh, get action bar dot get action bar dot get tab count dot get tab count okay so uh sorry i think it seems my computer has waged a war on me today so uh actually what we shall say is that we shall when if we increment a uh, action by by one if we find that it is greater than the tab count then we reset it to zero so we just say car equal to zero to return it back to the first uh, tab okay now uh after that one what we shall do is that we shall select the tab so say uh get action bar dot select tab okay then uh inside our select tab inside our select tab uh, method we shall pass uh, say get action bar dot get tab at we shall get the position of the tab okay okay get action bar dot select tab dot get action bar dot get tab at then after that one we shall return true otherwise uh, we shall return a uh, super dot on options item selected okay so uh, that one should enable us to navigate uh, through uh, the tabs so guys uh, let's run our application and see yeah so guys here it is you can see uh our beautiful uh tabs you can see they are clickable you can select them okay and then you can also see uh via the uh home button you can see that when it reaches the last one it gets reset back to zero Okay. so guys hope you've learned something about tabs please if you have uh subscribe to this channel uh, uh like this video okay share it comment on it and please uh, take care see you next time